In this video, we're going to look at limits that lead to indeterminate forms, and we'll discuss how to evaluate them using the L'Hopital's rule. First, let's talk about the difference between indeterminate forms and undefined expressions. Okay, So undefined, these are expressions that approach positive or negative infinity, Okay, meaning the limit does not exist. Uh, they can be rational expressions where the numerator approaches a non-zero real number and then the denominator approaches zero. Okay, This results to positive or negative infinity. Indeterminate forms, on the other hand, these are expressions, rational expressions to be exact, where both the numerator and denominator approach zero or both the numerator and denominator approach infinity. Okay, so we have zero over zero and infinity over infinity. These two are the two basic indeterminate forms, if you will. Okay, we have other indeterminate forms and we'll discuss it later on. So again, the difference between the two is that undefined expressions, they are always represented as positive or negative infinity. Okay, meaning the limit does not exist. Indeterminate forms, however, they can be existent or non-existent depending on the given. In other words, they can be any real number. They can be positive or negative infinity, again, depending on the given expression, rational expression. All right. For instance, let's look at 0 over 0. Okay. It is important to note that we are talking about limits here. All right, so the zero here is not exactly zero and the same as this zero in the denominator, okay? We are only approaching zero in the numerator and approaching zero in the denominator. Again, because we are talking about limits. So we cannot immediately determine if the ratio between zero and zero is one or is it zero or is it infinity or is it any other real number because these are not exactly zeros okay same thing with infinity over infinity we cannot immediately determine is this one is this infinity is this zero is this any other real number that's the problem with indeterminate forms okay unless we apply some techniques or methods that we will discuss later on All right, so let's look at uh, the different indeterminate forms. We already have the first two. We have zero over zero, infinity over infinity. These are the indeterminate quotients, okay? The next set, we have the indeterminate product, product between zero and positive or negative infinity, and the indeterminate difference. So we have here difference between positive infinity and positive infinity. Okay. And then lastly, we have the indeterminate powers. 0 raised to 0, infinity raised to 0, and 1 raised to infinity. So one way to evaluate indeterminate forms is through the use of the L'Hopital's rule. Take note that the L'Hopital's rule is very important. This rule can only be applied to 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity. So before you apply L'Hopital's rule, you check if uh, the limit results to 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Okay. So this rule says that if you have a limit of a rational expression, so limit of g of x or f of x over g of x as x approaches a certain number, and if it results to 0 over 0, then we can evaluate it using this formula. So again, you have limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches a certain number, say a. This is equivalent to uh, the limit of the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x as x approaches uh, a certain number, a certain value, say a. All right. Or uh, limit of a rational expression, again, f of x and g of x as x approaches positive or negative infinity, if this results to uh, 
infinity over infinity, then we can use this formula. Okay, so you differentiate the numerator and denominator separately, and then you take the limit. All right. So let's have some examples. Number one, find the limit of tangent of x minus x all over x minus sine x as x approaches zero. Okay, so given, uh, let's try direct substitution and see what we get. We have here tangent zero minus zero divided by zero minus sine of zero. Tangent of zero is zero, okay? And then sine of zero is also zero, so we have zero divided by zero. It's an indeterminate form, zero over zero, so we can apply the L'Hopital's rule, okay? So again, this is the given according to the L'Hopital's rule uh, to evaluate the limit of zero over zero and infinity over infinity, we have to differentiate the numerator and denominator separately, okay? So we have here the numerator, its derivative is secant squared x minus one, okay? That's because uh, the derivative of tangent of x with respect to x is secant squared of x. Of course, the derivative of x with respect to x is 1. And then derivative of sine x with respect to x, that's cosine of x. Okay. So let's check if we evaluate at x equals 0. Let's see. We have secant squared of 0 minus 1 divided by 1 minus cosine of 0. Secant of 0 is 1, so we have 1 minus 1 in the numerator, that's 0, and then cosine of 0 is also 1, so we have 1 minus 1 in the denominator, that's also 0. So it's still an indeterminate form in the form 0 over 0. Okay, so what do we do? We can actually apply the L'Hopital's rule multiple times, as long as you get... Uh, an indeterminate form in the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Okay, so let's apply another L'Hopital's rule. For the second application of the L'Hopital's rule, we start with uh, here. We start from the first application of the L'Hopital's rule. So copy limit of secant squared x minus 1 divided by 1 minus cosine x. Apply again. L'Hopital's rule differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately. So we have here 2 secant squared of x tan x for the numerator. And then uh, derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So we have uh, sine x in the denominator. Let's see if we apply direct substitution. We still get 0 over 0. This is because secant of 0 is 1, but tangent of 0 is zero so we have zero in the numerator and then of course sine of zero is zero so we have zero over zero all right so we can still apply L'Hopital's rule so for the third application of the L'Hopital's rule we'll start with uh, this limit here where we applied the L'Hopital's rule for the second time so copy we have limit of 2 secant squared x tangent of x divided by sine x as x approaches 0. Okay, Since this results to 0 over 0, we can apply uh, L'Hopital's rule, right? Okay, So again, differentiate the numerator and denominator separately. All right. So we'll get this expression. Let's try to evaluate as x approaches 0. So substitute x equals 0 we have here 2 times the quantity 2 secant squared of 0 tangent of 0 plus secant to the fourth power of 0 all over cosine of 0 okay so again secant of 0 is 1 but tangent of 0 is 0 so first term this is 0 and then secant of 0 again is 1 1 raised to 4 is 1 cosine of 0 is 1 so this is 1 therefore this results to 2 times the quantity 0 plus 1 divided by 1 and that's 2 this is now our final answer next problem find the limit of ln 
of the quantity x raised to 10 divided by x as x approaches infinity okay so given we can actually simplify this limit using uh, the power property of logarithmic functions okay we can bring down the exponent of the argument of the ln function okay so we have here x raised to 10 we can actually rewrite this as 10 ln x okay according to the power property of logarithmic functions okay and then we evaluate as x approaches infinity let's try to substitute infinity okay so we now have 10 ln of infinity divided by infinity ln of infinity basically is infinity so infinity times 10 that's infinity so we get infinity divided by infinity this is an indeterminate form where we can apply the L'Hopital's rule right so let's apply the L'Hopital's rule again this is our uh, the simplified form of our given limit of 10 ln x divided by x as x approaches infinity okay and according to the L'Hopital's rule to evaluate these types of limits we should differentiate the numerator and denominator separately okay so 10 ln x derivative of ln x with respect to x that's 1 over x therefore we get uh, 10 times 1 over x in the numerator and then of course derivative of x with respect to x is 1 okay so let's try to substitute x equals infinity so uh, the ratio between 1 over x as x approaches infinity this will approach 0 that's why we have here 10 times 0 and then divided by 1 so 10 times 0 is 0 divided by 1 so that's 0 this is now our final answer